Why does it think that is green? It's not, it's yellow. Not a clue. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to the third thing. We've got a choice of two paths today. Far Mau Ma 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 or Eagle Limited. I'm gonna go with Eagle Limited just because I happen to be facing this way. Let's see what is through here. So this is part four of my Ooh, looks like we're going up again. Part four of my AWE long play. And it is a long play, essentially, because I'm doing it the long way. Reading everything out. This is on the upper floor. I wonder how many floors the oldest house actually has. I suppose it has as many floors as it needs to. Uh, ah. Oh. Straight into control points. Don't mind if I do. Anything hidden behind the elevator here? No. Wonderful. Onwards we go then. Straight into a blast door. That's always a good sign. Hi, friends. Plonk. Oh, that was a grenade, wasn't it? I still get more usage out of just the base pistol. Any more for any more? No. Oh, never mind. Whoa. <laughs> Everything has exploded. Oh, there's another guy there. Is that it? Oh, there's, there's yet more. Charges quite quickly, at least. Oh, hi, friend. <laughs> he fell off. Shield kills reload efficiency. These mods are just getting weirder and weirder. Well, no, weird, weird's the wrong word. Niche. More and more niche. I saw you. Sneaky hidden things. Shaded facets. I was wondering why there was a guy there. Then I remembered. Uh, so... Up we go. Right, there wasn't anything over that way. Doesn't look like there's anything over that way. We could probably just look at a map. There will be something over that way at some point, by the look of it. It's very bright. And then very dark. I know it's realistic, but it's really not good for your eyes.
Oh, it's not good for my eyes anyway. I wear glasses for a reason. Seized reload efficiency. Of course, the other reason why it's not good for my eyes is because I've got a light shining in them anyway. Oh, hello. Uh, huh. Oh, I see you. No, oh, wait, you're on the other side of a... It's a puzzle. Wow, okay. It's not so much a puzzle as a, <laughs> a minor inconvenience. Come with me, Lantern. Oh. I shall have that first. To drink. No. No. Yes. Let us go and burn away the darkness. I really want to play Alan Wake again. Seriously, if, if the, the rumoured Alan Wake remaster is done using this engine... Oh, well, that, I mean, that would be a remake, wouldn't it, realistically? But how cool would that be? I would absolutely love it. Uh, don't know who did the wiring here. Oh. Okay. The control points. And a typewriter. This is Director Faded. I require backup at this location. are in for it now are they though <laughs> are they um how did you get here mate and why did you come from the route from up ahead oh i must have killed the the big ball thing at the same time um confiscated motive Yeah, I actually turned the right stick sensitivity down a little bit. Not like a huge amount. Just so that it wasn't kind of flipping me around really speedily. Shaded facets. I do find it interesting that all the computers glow in this place. Uh, hold on. We're going up here. Aha! Frank! All right, they've left us a utility corridor. They've left us, left us a lamp here. I'm assuming this is... Here for a reason. Was this what you had in mind? Ah. It is for... Oops. <laughs> it is for a quest. Brain missing. To the good for nothings at the security check. I know you took a part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether taking a part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told... If you lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now, I don't know which it is. And I can't remember what you did to me. But I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back. And you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I'll be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. Ah, people. Gotta love them. No. Oh. Thank you. 
Okay, so somewhere in here, there's other darkness. Get out of here. I have two lights now. <laughs> You shall wilt under my withering light. Something, I don't know. Eliminate the darkness in investigation. It's utility corridor. Well done us. Anything else over here? Yes, corridor. <laughs> uh... And realistically, I've just thrown myself down there into darkness. Ballistic ground slam boost. Why is there a big blue searchlight here? Oh, it's not a big blue. Hold on. That was it reacted to the telekinesis, wasn't it? Ah, sorry, my nose is really itchy. It's this damned annoying. Did I get turned around then, or did things switch? I'm not entirely sure. Right, uh, so we drop down to here. Yeah, but we can't get back up there. Right, we'll have to go the long way. Come with me, lamp. Okay, so that was where we went down to the blue place. Okay. Oh, hay fever. Worst thing about hay fever is that mine is only usually really mild. So I don't take anything for it. In fact, I don't know even know whether I've happen to have anything in the house for it i suppose i could go and get something um but despite the fact that it's been raining quite a lot for the last couple of days um pollen count either the pollen count's really high or something else is up with me i mean really That's what I wanted to pick up. Ooh. No! Damn it. That was not what I expected. Oh, they're mold! Plonk. Uh, shall we take a torch? Oh. Well, I was going to take a torch with us, but uh, it seems to have disappeared. Right, we can go forwards that way, or we can ha say hi to a mold corridor. Didn't actually check whether there were any mold people in here. Probably should have done that first. Because my spatial awareness is bloody awful. Um, let's very quickly dump a few. We've got a level one mod there. 
I want to try and make sure I keep reload speeds. Because if I do use spin for anything, reload speed is kind of useful. What's this? <gasps> Night Springs! The robust director shoves the nerd-like scientist aside and heads to the portal so control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. All the more reason. The entire screen is filled with dangerous reds. Then it fades away and we see that two men are in another dimension. The air ripples around them as if they were a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun after a five-day road trip. Interior. Unknown dimension. Night. What have you done? You've doomed us! Control yourself, Doctor. Where's this beast of yours? Right there, sir! A horrible, shapeless, shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. What a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. Mr. Wake, that is terrible writing. Especially for a screenplay. You've got to give your director something to work with. Well, your director and everybody that's involved in the creation of television. No. Mm -mm. We need a lot more power cubes. Hartman thing do all this? The Hartman thing. This looks like a trap. <sighs> Just to put my hand in the wall. Looks like a trap. Wasn't a trap. Interesting. Um, I, I noticed, by the way, because I'm an idiot, uh, when I was editing stuff together um, about the the, the thing... Um, for some reason, I, I asked what it was and couldn't figure out. It's like, but damn it, you saw the subtitles? It says it's Hartman? Um, oh. Lovely. Uh. Oh, I see what's going to happen here. So, we need that over there. I think. And uh, we need... Yeah. I can do puzzles! He says. Right, so we need... Blue ones. No. We need f four for blue? Do we have four? Or do we only have three currently? What? No, we've only got three. Uh, so we need... What colour's this? Orange? Orange. Alright. Orange, orange, and... Oh, hold on. That's orange. That's orange. Oh, but... Mm. Okay, but one of them is unplugged. So we've got to actually follow the cables. Right, that one's plugged in. That one's fine. Hold on, this cable is red. Demo. You complete doofus. No. Uh... Oh, 
Right, that's got one. <clears throat> Come here. Am I being really dense? I almost certainly am, aren't I? It's there. I am so smart. Right, and now we do blue. So that's blue. That's not blue. Man, this wiring's terrible. And... Open! Alright, that's a mod box. And this is a different colour. Ballistic Ground Slam Boost. Plus 45% damage, uh, Ground Slam damage after weapon hits. Good for using in the air, I guess. Um... Okay, and we also need... But what we actually need for progress is the yellow ones. Hadn't even realised we weren't making progress doing that puzzle. We were just... Reminder. The law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be oh. mindful. And don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. How does that work? So you can't turn it three times? Aquatic misconduct? That's something I'd not like to be reprimanded for. Or well, maybe I would. <laughs> Come with me, lamp. Well, we are going. Plunk. Plunk. Ooh. Seized protection. Minus 28 damage after seizing an enemy. That'd be cool if I used seize more, which I don't. But if I did, that'd be cool. I have this control point. Wrong. Okay, whereabouts are we now? Oh, this is the train carriage. Yes. I can't remember what it said about the train carriage because it was yesterday that I recorded that. Lots oh. of dark corners to hide in. Okay, let's get the lights on and clear him out. gone no come back to me lamp i love you ow sort of huh 
Oh. Doesn't work until it's fully... Uh... Take that. What's this actually going to do? What you doing? <laughs> Suck it, Hartman. You weird twisted thing. He just battered his way into a wall. I am very unclear. <laughs> I'm very unclear as to how that turned the lights on. All aboard. The night train. Um I don't think. Oh, there isn't actually a hole here. Oh, hold on. Oh, good. Sort of hassle spike. Entity capture report. Formerly Dr. Emil Hardman. Hartman, even. Reshaded specimen A010. An alert from the mm, WA monitoring station indicated minor mm, activity occurring in the area. Aidan Estevez was dispatched to investigate. Inside the Cauldron Lake Lodge, she discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman. He'd been converted into a shaded individual. Her definitions found in file 1923 uh, and displayed violent behaviour characteristic of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence and, with some difficulty, it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitant were transported safely back to HQ, where the specimen remains detained in the investigations sector as part of the mm, AWE investigation. Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to relocate the specimen to their sector for study. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Okay, this place is wonk. Employee misdemeanor. Agent Samuel Turnbull committed a misdemeanor while performing his duties as supervising agent of Project Designed to help undercover agents reassimilate to office duties. The incident began with Agent Turnbull refused one of the operatives' entry into the oldest house, claiming they had been compromised. The situation escalated as Agent Turnbull attempted to force a confession out of the bastard. The injuries inflicted upon the, ter the victim required a trip to the medical wing. Agent Turnbull denied any guilt, maintaining that the victim was some sort of pod person. And that he, unlike his colleagues, could see their true intentions. To use the Bureau's connections to climb the ranks of government and eventually into the Oval Office. Despite breaching Bureau Offence Code 45, Agent Turnbull was given leave of absence with full pay due to his sterling record. He will be required to undergo a psychological evaluation upon his return. <laughs> a shaded facet. And the radio. Clever. An unmarked. Let me out, damn it. Hold on. Oh, it's the radio.
Huh. Uh oh. Why are you here? Huh. Clock. Code. Question mark. I have no idea what the code will be for that. We haven't seen any documentation yet. I'm going to take a guess. It's somewhere in this area. But since I was running from the Astral Spike... Oh, hold on. Agent Guthrie, interrogation 4C pertaining to the Eagle Limited incident and its subsequent... Um state alteration look buddy i have no clue what you're talking about so you deny being a part of a radical group aiming to affect inanimate objects in a manner that would yield um this is him struggling to deal with the terminology i deny but hey tell me more about these results they sound real unusual i'm sure you recognize that the measures this group of yours takes to achieve their goals can be considered acts of terrorism goals measures you're being very vague. Did you know you're being very vague? All right, 62 dead. Passengers and crew, innocent people. Still sound vague to you? You might as well stop wasting both our time. I won't say anything, and you can't say anything. I know you can't. Tell you what I can do. I can throw your sorry ass in one of our cozy containment cells. You can rot there until you're ready to talk. Or you could just save us both the trouble and tell me all about how you're going around creating altered items. How's that sound? Uh, did you really think we wouldn't catch on to you? We always do. Always. So you might as well come clean. For your sake. I, uh... <clears throat> I think I'll just talk to my lawyer instead. That's not how it works around here, buddy. But tell you what. Why don't I leave you here to think Leave him in a room with an astral spike. See you in a couple of days. Wait, wait, wait! No waiting for you! Oh! Eek! Where are we going to find a code for the clock? Not on the whiteboard. There's got to be one, right? There's got to be one somewhere. I didn't go through here, did I? Bunker. No code. Oh, I see a file. Eagle Limited supplement. No. The Bureau has gathered concrete evidence that the train derailment was in fact the work of the para criminal group known as Nye. 
which, according to the Bureau's intel, has shown a concerning interest in experimenting with the artificial manufacturing of altered materials. Knowing the group largely operates in the American Midwest, the Bureau worked alongside the FBI to ascertain the movements and rendezvous locations. This cooperation provided agents with information that led to an arrest in conjunction with the AWE case. And a suspicion of involvement hmm, was brought in for questioning. An interrogation performed by agent resulted in the suspect being, held, uh, being kept in a holding cell for two days without food in breach of the Power Criminal Rights Act. Afterwards, the suspect confessed to his involvement in the something group and provided information on other members in exchange for his freedom. So it worked, but it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't the legit way of doing it. Okay, so there's... I was going to say mold, not mold. There's darkness hidden around in this chamber next time we'll have a crack at the train bit disjointed it's disjointed but to be fair the the premise of expansion 2 awe is ultra world, world events it just because there's a big old alan wake tie-in it doesn't mean that that's its focus. It's about AWEs. So Hartman being the, the the bad guy is interesting. I'm still not entirely sure how the train turned the lights on, but maybe... Is that the duck? I wasn't sure whether that was outside or coming from the train car. I hope it's not the rubber duck. Because that... Until next time, please join me for Dead in Its Tracks, where we will investigate the train altered item. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful day, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.